Wow, I slept great. It feels like I've been asleep for two weeks or something. Good morning, Cinequil. Let's keep on doing good. Actually, I want to ask you something. What do you think about what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother you? Well, yeah, kind of. Yes, I guess you would be concerned too, Cinequil. There's supposed to be a link between the world's balance being upset and how you became a Pokemon. And because of the world's upset balance, natural disasters have been occurring. More than anything, he said that the world will be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance? What is it? Cynical, do you know what the world's balance is? Well, of course I do, Mudkip. Oh, really? Cynical, you know? Please tell me, what is the world's balance? The world's balance is in space. In space? Like where the stars and the moon are? That space? Hmm, I'm getting even more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world's balance? If we go there, you'll see. Huh? Go out to space? And how do we get out to space? We fly there, of course. Huh? I can't fly! Oh, Pelipper! Just who we need! You see, we're wondering if you could carry us to space. No way! Not a chance! Mm. Huh. It appears to be impossible after all. What is wrong with you saying all these ridiculous things? I wish you'd be more considerate before making jokes. So you don't know either, Cinequil. I can't imagine what the world's balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we'll just have to do what we can, one thing at a time. I was hoping that joke would lighten Mudkip's mood a little bit. I don't like seeing them so worried. Seeing his reaction certainly made me laugh, though. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Hi, what's happening? Well, you know the Ninetales legend, that old story? The Ninetales legend? What's that? What, you don't know? You know, it's that old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of the Ninetales tales? All this time everyone thought it was just a legend. But lately it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it is still a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Ninetales legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Whiskash. He knows the story well. Whiskash is, uh, you know, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. The legend of Ninetales, huh? This might be exactly what we're looking for. Though I question if we'll be happy with what we end up hearing. Whizcash told us folklore from long ago. It was fun! The folklore was fun and interesting. Whizcash is very wise. Ho ho ho! You wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Nine Tales legend? Very well. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Nine Tales. Now Nine Tales had many tales, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tale would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tale. 
and it was a human. A human? Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Guard of War shielded the human, and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay, but humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? it asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human, and it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human turned into a Pokemon? And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Mm. Aha! You found it so interesting, you're at a loss for words. Ho ho ho! Ah, there's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumors say that the legend may actually be true. But it is only ancient folklore. Nothing more! If you feel the urge to hear my tale again, come see me! Ha ha ha! Mudkip and I really didn't know what to say after that. We exited Wizcash's pond and just sort of walked around town, trying to go about our daily business, but not really knowing how to communicate with one another. We both felt incredibly uncomfortable with what we just heard. We can't deny the possibility that... I'm that human in the Legend of Nine Tales. But... Is it really true? It all just seems... Too much to be a coincidence. I just don't know. Say, Cinequil, I want to call it a day now. I can't seem to get motivated today. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mudkip. Santa Quill, sorry. I started doubting you a little, Santa Quill. But I'm not gonna worry anymore. I believe in you, Santa Quill, because you're a friend like no other, Santa Quill. You're a friend, like I'd never get again. Okay, Santa Quill, let's do our best tomorrow, like always. Thank you. Again? It's that dream again. I always see this silhouette. Who could it be? Oh, it's saying something. But I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but... I'll try talking to it. Hello? Please, tell me. You... Who are you? I am... I am Gardevoir. G gardevoir I am so glad. Finally. I finally got to meet you. Oh, uh, finally met me? You knew me from before? What about me? I am your... Oh, wait! Just a little longer. 
want to know more. No, it's fading. <sighs> what a strange dream. It's the dream I always have, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it! Gardevoir! It was Gardevoir! Yesterday, Whiskash said... Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand-year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. <clears throat> maybe... Maybe I... Maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one who abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. Maybe I really am just a terrible person. Morning, Cinequil. Oh, you look pale. Is something the matter? Well, anyway, as always, let's try to do our best. Oh, yeah. When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. I didn't know how to tell Mudkip about my dream. Not after what happened yesterday. Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different, somehow. Maybe something's happened. Cinequil, let's check it out. Look! Why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed! It really was true! What was true? The Ninetales legend! I never believed the rumor, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Cyndaquil, Mudkip! Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out, Caterpie? Yes. Shh, quiet. These guys are telling us to keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It it's... Gengar. So, I went up to the Hill of the Ancients. And that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell ya. <laughs> shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon, it looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this! It was originally a human! What? It really existed. A human who turned into a Pokemon. There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there have been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon... The unthinkable will happen to the world! That's what Zatu said! <laughs> what? The world? The unthinkable's going to happen? What are we to do? That Gengar, he's deliberately working everyone up. Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> what 
can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokémon, then, if that human is gone, then everything should return to normal, correct? Th that's true. When we put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that human is the rotten coward that abandoned Gardevoir, correct? I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Cyndaquil? What? It it can't be. Y you you were that human? Is that true? Hey. Well, well, wait. There's this like th there's a good explanation for We're not asking you. We're asking Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. So what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? Um I I Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, Cyndaquil. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Cyndaquil and regain peace. <laughs> what? Everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you going to do? Cyndaquil, forgive me! <laughs> what? What are you doing? What? Cyndaquil, run! Serves him right. <laughs> <sighs> wow, that was a real shock. I never expected everyone to attack us like that. But listen, Santa Quill, why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appears in the Legend of Nine Tails. Mudkip, just stop talking for a second. Huh? What is it? Listen, I can't do this anymore. Do you want to just end the rescue team? What's the matter? What makes you say that all of a sudden? Give up on our rescue team? It's not like you to say that, Saint Quill. Is something the matter? You see... Uh, huh? You had a dream, and Gardevoir appeared in it? And that made you think that maybe you were that human after all. So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Santa Quill, did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what really happened. I... I have faith in you, Santa Quill. You know that. So... Oh. After that scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting. On what we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding. I was incredulous too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but it is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're, we're fighting here? This can't be happening. We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase. And attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Cyndaquil will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us, too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run, and survive. You must run until you uncover the truth. I like you, Sam. There will be no mercy the next time we meet. 
farewell. Was that meant to be encouragement? Santa Quill, in their own way, Alexander's team has faith in you too. Didn't I say this before? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll always have faith in you, Santa Quill. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be scared. What good will it do if you don't believe in yourself, Santa Quill? Santa Quill? Caterpie. Santa Quill, I made a promise, remember? That we would make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Santa Quill, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Santa Quill. I believe in you too, Santa Quill. So, what do you say, Santa Quill? Okay then. I won't give up. Not anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Cinequil. We'll have to leave for the time being, but let's make sure to come back, and we'll bring the truth back with us. It's time. Morning, Cinequil. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I'll wait while you get ready. Tell me when you're ready. Let's leave then. Are you going out to Pokemon Square? There are other Pokemon in the square, so be really careful. It's still early, so I think everyone will still be asleep. Be sure not to wake anyone up. Time to make the final preparations. This might be the last time I ever visit this square and see these faces. Nim, 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 nim. Welcome. Look around. They're all completely dedicated to their craft. Running their shops in their sleep. Yep. Help you with anything else? Thank. Nim, nim. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. This is my shop. Ah, my merchandise. Yep. Anything else? Thank. Nom, 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 nom. Come again. I'm really gonna miss you guys. Welcome. This is Felicity Bank. Your account contains this much. How may I serve you? Perhaps if we never come back, this money could be of use to someone else in need. Shh. Hello. Kangaskhan Storage. What? Take out? Uh-huh. Take out, take what you'd like. It's impossible to take everything with us. I guess we'll just... take the necessities. Anything else? Thank you. Come again. Thank you for always being so kind to me. I really appreciate it. It's that much, okay? Yep! Well, thank you. Um, nom, 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 nom. Bye. Nom. Yeah. Yep. Nom, nom, nom. Anything else? Thank. Nom, 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 nom. Come again. These Pokemon really are such heavy sleepers. I'm surprised I haven't woken any of them up yet. I wonder what they'll think when they wake up. How much do you wish to deposit? Not much. Very well. I will guard it jealously. I will await your next visit. Friends, welcome to the Wrigley Cup Club. 
Thank you, friend. I hope that we can still be friends one day. Hello? Go up and link shop. Oh my god. I'm sorry I never got to know you better. There are a lot of things I'm regretting right now. So much time wasted. Things I should have said. Things I should have done. But I guess it's too late for that now. In case I ever do return, I want to make sure these rescue jobs don't go unnoticed. But would they want help from someone like me? I don't know. I guess this is it. I'm gonna miss all of you so much. I'm sorry it had to be this way. This will be a dangerous journey. I'd better leave without telling Magnemite. I'm already roping one innocent Pokemon into this. I don't need to burden even more. Oh, are you ready to go? I guess I'm all set. Yep, looks like we're ready. From now on, we're fugitives. This is going to be a dangerous trip. I don't want to get our team members involved. Let's not tell them. We'll just leave by ourselves. We have to get away from the rescue teams hunting us. We have to get away at all costs. Yes, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said that time. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run, and survive. You must run until you uncover the truth. Yes, who am I? Until I discover that truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay, let's get going. Cyndaquil! Huh? Caterpie! And Metapod too! Oh, and even Jump Pluff! Wow, I'm glad! We made it! We wanted to see you off, Santa Claus! M me too! Huh? Was that? Good morning, it's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off too! Everyone! It's a letter. Cynical, can you read it? It says... Take care! It's farewell, but only for now! Until the day I can deliver mail to you again! I'll always be waiting! The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper! Even Pelipper? <laughs> Everyone, thank you! The other Pokémon will be waking up soon. You have to go! Hurry! Yep. Cynical, let's go. Hit the road. Take care! We'll be waiting for both of you to return. Yep, thank you. We'll be back, that's for sure. Take care until then. Thank you, everyone. Wow, are these fissures amazing? The environment is out of control here too. The forest fire is still raging.
Phew. We sure traveled a long way. But while we were moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been affected by the natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. I wish we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now, period. Huh? I hear voices. I think they went this way. They can't get away. Not from all of us. We have to get rid of Cyndaquil quickly. Ah, oh, no. Are they catching up to us? Cyndaquil, we'd better go. My heart was broken. I didn't want to run away. I didn't want to leave. But I had nowhere else to go. I already felt so out of place, being a human in a Pokemon world. But now I truly didn't belong anywhere. I was finally starting to feel safe within my surroundings, feeling comfortable within my own skin, being accepted by all these new friends. To have them all turn on me so suddenly. But the worst part is, I can't really blame them for it. Who's to say whether or not I am the human in the Legend of Nine Tales? I have no memories of my former self, and the fact that I've been seeing Gardevoir in my dreams. Perhaps that's all the proof I need. Maybe she's haunting me in my sleep to make sure I never forget what I've done. But still, even if it's true, I'm not that person anymore. The trainer talked about in that story. I hate them. They sound despicable. Even if it is me, the way I am now. I don't agree with their actions. I don't support them. I can't even comprehend being them. But the possibility is still present. And it doesn't really matter if I agree with them or not. It's not about being a good or a bad person or Pokemon. The fate of the world is at stake. If I'm really the cause of the world falling out of balance, then they have every right and reason to fear me and to hunt me down. Who knows what might happen if I stay here? To be honest, if I were on my own, I probably wouldn't have run. I would have let them do whatever they wanted with me. If it made them all feel safer, someone like me isn't worth all this trouble. Their safety is so much more important than my own. Besides, they all actually belong in this world. I was just an outcast who forced themselves in, without knowing the consequences of what would come soon after. My biggest regret right now is that whatever happens to me will happen to Mudkip as well. They're dead set on following me all the way to the end. Parting ways is out of the question, but they're completely innocent. They've just... they're just absurdly loyal, even when I don't deserve it. I don't want them to get hurt. I can't allow anything to happen to them because of me. It's bad enough that they had to abandon their home and their friends, all for my sake. So I guess the least I could do is protect Mudkip on this journey and make it to the end together. Find the truth that we're searching for. And maybe then I'll have discovered that there was hope to be found in all of this after all. They'll never give up on me. So for their sake, I'll never give up on them or on myself. Phew! Finally, we made it through the cave. Where's the Pokemon mob that's after us? Hey, look! There they are! Over there! Catch Cyndaquil! Whoa, here they come! Run! Stop right there! Don't let them get away! They expect us to stop and wait for them? Huh. <sighs> 
<sighs> oh no! Look! It- it's a mountain of fire! It's called a volcano, Mudkip. Look at all that lava pouring from the crater. Can we even make it through there? But they're catching up to us. What will we do, Cinequil? Look! There they are! Get them! There's no choice now. Let's go, Cinequil. Look at them go! They're running for Mount Blaze! Are they insane? Mount Blaze is doom desolation! No one's ever come this far before! I don't want to go anywhere like that. It can't be helped. Only those brave enough will give chase. <laughs>